Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to deploy Arista CEOS container image using the container lab module. To start with, we need to have uh, some prerequisites uh, to achieve this uh, deployment. First, we need a VM box manager and it could be an Oracle or it could be a VM or station player. And second is Ubuntu we need to install on the VM box manager. Then you need to change the VM network settings accordingly so that you have the reachability to the VM from your laptop as well as to the internet. Okay, let's start with. So what I'm using is I'm using the or you can see I'm using the Oracle VM virtual box manager and I have installed a Ubuntu a machine as a VM and <clears throat> I changed my settings for the reachability. So you can see the network settings. You can see that I have the reachability. So let me quickly show you host name, CTL. So this command tell you this is a VM, and it is running with Ubuntu 22.04, the latest one I'm running. The next step. Let's go for the next step. The next step is you need an Arista OS image and that has to be downloaded from the Arista official web page. Uh, it's unlike Nokia where you can uh, pull the image from the Git. It is free, Nokia SR Linux image. Uh, but for Arista, you need to uh, create a user account in their website. Then you can download this uh, image for your own use. Let me show you. Okay, this is the Arista, web this is the Arista website, user registration. You can just give your information details and then you click on agree and create your account. Once you register, you will get an email uh, to verify your account. Once you verify your account, you will be able to download the Arista image that I have given the snapshot here. So in CEOS, I see that UOS 4.29 is the latest one. So in this, you have to click here and then you have to download this image. I have already highlighted in the yellow. So once it is downloaded, we need to upload this image to our Ubuntu server. I am using FileZilla to upload it to the Ubuntu VM. That's I have tried once, maybe that's the reason it's asking. So I am just uploading it. Okay, transfer is finished. So okay. So then I'm redirecting you guys to the Container Lab website. Here, here they have given for Arista US what are the steps that we have to do, and to create a Docker image, we need to use this particular command to create the Docker image after uploading this image from the Arista website. But here the image they have given is a 4.28. The latest image which we downloaded is 4.29. So I'm changing this from 4.28 to 4.29 according to our image we have. So I'm just flipping it. So what it will do, it will create a Docker image locally so that we can use this Docker image of Arista CUS to deploy our topology according to the testing plan. Okay, I see some error. Just give me a minute. Yes, guys, there was some issue in uploading the image. I re upload the image. Uh, now you can see here the same command the Docker image is created. Uh, the same I have verified also the Docker image is created, CUOS image is created locally. So now I have created a CUOS directory. I am going to create a file now. YAML file. Yes, so I'm going to insert. I'm using the kind CUS, and uh, this is the uh, the image name. Sorry, I think. So the name. This could be anything. So I'm just creating. As we have only one CUS image, I'm using CUS image as a name. So Docker. The next command would be. Let me verify the file is created. Yes, 
let's command this sudo container this container lab deploy the topology we can give the the name of the file and take okay sorry okay I have given the wrong command so it's good to do a troubleshooting also yes it's creating the topology uh, you know it's, it's good to you know do some troubleshooting when you are recording the session and it, it helpful actually yeah the topology is created so the default username and password is admin admin so you can log in using the container ID or you can log in using the IP address so the step is mentioned here so you can using the bash or CLI or netconf so you can choose a like any options which you would like so I'm going to use the CLI so let me I can directly log in also using the IP so let me try it admin yes it will create your ssh key so save the ssh key as i said default show ip interface yes that's it so now we are inside the ceos arista image that's it guys you guys can create the same you can follow the same same steps i followed and you can create your own image and run it on your laptop so so let me see let me show you a few more things okay if you see the docker stats so it is not taking more than a surprise it is not like it's only 0 0.1 or 2 percentage of cpu it is taking and the memory utilization is like 1 gb it is taking for running one cos it's taking 1.3 gb and 1 or 2 percentage of my cpu that's good Okay guys that's all you guys can try and next video we'll catch up with few more interesting topics. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe my channel if you like the video share with your friends.